Hello, how are you? How are you today, girls? I am good teacher. Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Nice to see you, girls. Team. Girls, uh, do you have any question about platform? Uh, for the moment, no. No? No, miss. No. Okay, have you completed uh, the second section? The second, yes. Yes? Okay, excellent. Okay. Let's play something, okay? The table talk. Okay, we have uh, 12 numbers, okay? Do you have to choose one, okay? Number seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. Okay, Jansi Mayang, number seven. Yes. Let's see. <laughs> okay, tell us about the last book you read. Yes, I was read um, mm -hmm. and uh, Helen White is the escritora, I don't know. The writer? Yes, is the... Um, uh, the conflict of final, eh, M, eh, conflict of final, pero en inglés se me olvidó el nombre. Okay. Um, yes. It's about Jesus. Excellent, nice. Uh -huh. About Jesus, about the Bible. Yes, about the Bible. The, the conflict of the finish of the, the war. Mm, excellent. Yes. Like the apocalypse? Um, yes. A little bit. Yes. <laughs> excellent. Thank you, Yancy. Okay. Carla Albergue, tell me a number from two to 12. Sorry, teacher. Tell me a number. From two to 12. Okay, and number 10. Okay. What do you find boring? Uh, any moment. Really? Yes. I don't have a time. Yes, I know. Because uh, in my job and my zone, I don't have a time. But, it's but for reason. example, no, when I when I say what do you find boring is like que encuentro este aburrido. Ah, okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. Ah, se fue. Quería estornudar. Ajá. El fútbol. Okay. I don't like football. soccer. Do, do you? Okay. I don't like. Yes. <laughs> Why? Especially uh, Mexican football. Mm. My husband likes watch TV Mexican football, but I don't like. My husband likes. Remember yes. the person. My husband mm -hmm. likes to watch the Mexican soccer. Mexican football. Yes. Soccer. Soccer. Mm -hmm. It's very boring. Yes, for me, I don't like uh, soccer too. Well, no vaya a ser. Ah, ya se conectó Mateo. No van a escuchar. Teníamos que aprovechar cuando estaban solo niñas. Ahorita ya no hablen de mal de soccer. Ni El Salvador, ni del FAS, ni de Alianza, ni de Águila, nada. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see. Flor, tell me a number from 2 to 12. Um, five. Let's see. What is your favorite holiday and why? Uh, my favorite holiday mm -hmm. is Christmas. And why? Because um, funny. <laughs> no sé cómo yes. decirlo. Es divertido. Yes. Es bonito. Yes. Because we share with our family, right? Yes, yes. We we cook in family, okay? We eat a lot, okay? Yes? Yes. Give, present, money, uh, aguinaldo. Sí. Aguinaldo, sí, pero present, <laughs> más present no recibo. <laughs> no, ya no, ¿verdad? Pero el aguinaldo ya los no. motiva más, no me digan que no. Eh, claro, por supuesto. Ya, no de, 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 ya, ya están empezando a contar, vaya, faltan tantos días. Un mes casi, ¿verdad? Porque se empieza a ver desde el 12 al 20. Sí, un mes prácticamente. Uh -huh. ¡Cuánta alegría! Uh! Sí, para dejarlo en la universidad. Uh. Yo sé. Sí, sí. Ay, más lo que ya estudian los niños, yo creo que ahí se les va todo y ni les alcanza en la matrícula. Ah, bueno, después de ese triste momento, ok. Ok. Let's see, thank you. Let's see, okay. Mateo. Tell me one number from 2 to 12. 11. Ok. Mateo, tell us one thing about yourself that we probably don't know. Uh, repeat, please. Okay. Tell us one okay. thing about okay. yourself that okay. we probably don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 18 years old and maybe I really like soccer and... <laughs> Carlita, ya ve que le dije. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I really like, I, I love basket too. Excellent. Um, I don't know what else. Excellent, thank you. Okay, let's okay. see. Uh, Anayansi, tell me a number from two to 12. No puede escuchar, no, no va. No, ¿verdad? Nos avisa cuando sí pueda, Ana. Ahorita le, hasta ahorita les estoy escuchando, teacher. No he podido estar en la clase. Ah, sí. va. Dígame un número del 2 al 12. Y el que usted elija, yo le voy a hacer una pregunta. Ok, el 11. Ok, the same thing. Ok. Tell us one thing about yourself that we probably don't know. Algo que no sepamos de usted? Um, I live in, in the El Tunco. Ah, yes. Yes, I remember that. Porque no se me olvida la invitación. Ya nos invitó, ¿verdad? <laughs> yes. Ahí se le corta a Ana Yancy. Sí, no, no es justo, no es justo cuando I, estamos I, hablando de él. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have three three daughters. You have three daughters. Excellent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How old are they? Um, 20, 27, 27, 25 and 22, 25 and 22, the 20s. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Lourdes, tell me 
a number from 2 to 12. It's time to talk, guys. Puede repetir la pregunta. Okay, tell me a number from 2 to 12. Del 2 al 12. Um, 10 and 11. Just 10, okay? Okay, what do you find boring? ¿Qué encuentra aburrido usted? Um, wake up uh, to go to work. Yes, right. No me voy a decir que es un clase, teacher. Ya siento esa pregunta, ya no la voy a hacer mejor. No. No, me too. I don't, I don't like to wake up early, but I have to. What else, Lourdes? ¿Qué más? Solo eso, that's it. Um, um, to uh, make my test is very boring. Yes, I know. You have to investigate a lot. You have to read a lot. You have to write a lot, okay? Yes. Yes, sorry, okay, but you can do it. Let's see, Daniel, tell me a number from two to 12. Sorry, teacher, uh, good evening. Permítame, evening. es que se me acaba de abrir unas ventanas acá de YouTube y me está interferiendo con lo que usted me estaba diciendo, porque estoy abriendo, dando ahorita la computadora, todo. Ah, sorry. Okay. Eh, ten. Ten. Another number. Bueno, ese no lo escucho usted. What do you find boring? Así. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Ok. I find it boring to have to deal with people who appear to be what they are not. Yes, just appearance, right? And they, oh. for example, they pretend that they have money and they don't have, or they yeah. pretend that they have a good card and, and yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And sometimes mm -hmm. socializing too. To socialize, we niño por qué? Why? Antisocial. Yes. <laughs> How old are you? Twenty six. No, thirty six. Thirty? Thirty six. Thirty six. Yeah. Mm, así va. Oh, Aquí true. lo vamos a hacer socializar. No se preocupe, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Daniel. Katie, tell me a number from 2 to 12. Ese es tiempo de hablar, chicos. Ahorita es tiempo de practicar, ¿ok? Katie. Katie. Se me hace que ustedes enci encienden la clase y se van, ¿verdad? <laughs> Mentira, Katie. Hello. No? Janet, your turn. Uh, number two. Excellent. Tell us about a great movie you saw recently. Repeat. Tell us, tell us about a great movie you saw recently. ¿Alguna película que ha visto recientemente? Que le haya. Uh, yeah. Um, I watch movie. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> For example. Mie miedo, miedo profundo. Uh -huh. About what? A scary movie? Scary movie? No, no, no. Romantic es, movie? Eh, 
suspense, suspense. Mysterious. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Así la teacher anotando. ¿Cuál dijo? <laughs> Para el fin de semana, niña. ¿Cuál era? <laughs> <laughs> Miedo profundo. Very beautiful. Haga, haga lo broma, pero yo lo voy a anotar. <laughs> Está bien, está bonita. Ok, tell us about that, ok. Uh, the movie it's about. Uh, the movie it's about the, the girl. A girl, uh -huh. it's about a girl. <coughs> uh, she, she went to the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, um, she practiced the surf mm -hmm. and then she uh, ella disappear? estaba ¿cómo es? no, ella estaba practicando she, she was practicing she was practicing surf sure. uh, when uh, Apareció un tiburón, algo así. When a shark appeared. Remember Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Si sirvan las canciones de los niños, ¿ok? <risa> ¿Cómo? Ba a shark. No, Baby Shark es la canción. No. Shark. When a shark appeared. When, when a shark appeared. Uh -huh. um, I no sé cómo. No sé qué va a decir. Yes, but excellent. You see, <laughs> eh, este, nos contó acerca de, y si le entendimos, o sea, lo que pase después es el misterio, pero si le entendimos la idea principal. Thank you. Ok. Excellent. <laughs> ok. To be continued. <laughs> ya ve, eso es lo que quiero, que ustedes se socialicen. Que ustedes se sientan cómodos, o sea, al final, o sea, es una hora que ustedes compa que compartimos y tenemos que sentirnos cómodos y bien aprendiendo, ¿ok? Y que, que, que cambien así como que se sientan alegres, motivados para estar en la clase, ¿ok? Thank you. Let's see. Sí, Stephanie, tell me a number from 2 to 12. And number eight. Eight, let's see. Okay, tell me your profession or are you a, a studying? Uh, I'm graduated of a chemical technician. Okay, if you have not became <clears throat> a technical, technical what? Chemical. Chemical? What career would you have chosen? Why? Uh, because I love the I love chemical. You love chemic, but the, the question was if you if you have not become a technic a technical chemical, what career would you have chosen? ¿Cuál otra oh. hubiese escogido? Uh, psicología. Psychology, why? Because I, I could talk with a person, uh, problems of the other person. Mm -hmm. You are a good listener. Yes. Okay, and you comprehend people. Yes, I like it. Excellent. And okay, Stephanie, tell us a piece of advice. ¿Por qué no nos dice un consejo, ok? About life. Uh, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Lo puedo decir en español. <laughs> <laughs> Try in English, but ok. Ok. Uh, live your life uh, of mm -hmm. this day is the end. Yes. As if this day. This day. Ooh. Uh, if is the end. Yes, I. Como si we, este día fuera we, el último. We got it right. We are, we got the message. Si entendimos <laughs> el mensaje. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Carla Deportillo. Tell me a number from two to twelve. 
four. Four. <sighs> what is your favorite food and why? Um, I like seafood because uh, for me it's a complete food mm -hmm. and I can enjoy this kind of food on the beach. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, well, No, I like, I like it. I like it because oh. yes, <laughs> se recuerda de eso. Yes. Thank you, Carlita. Angie. Angie, no se me vaya. Okay. Tell me a number from 2 to 12. You are the last one. Seven. Seven, let's see. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer the beach or the mountains? Why? Um, the beach. Uh -huh. Why? I like water. You like the water, and yes. In eating it, a cocktail. A cocktail, yes, right. And fish. Um, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice disfrutar con la familia? Enjoy. Enjoy. We en with you family. enjoy with family. Excellent. Uh -huh. um, beautiful. Um, It's beautiful. Yes, right. Thank you, excellent. Nadie se me quedó, ¿verdad? Todos participamos. Yes? Yes. Okay, guys. Do you remember countable and uncountable nouns? Yes. 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 Tell me uh, what is the meaning of countable nouns? Countable, you can count. <risa> ya, sí, ya empezamos, ya a las 8 y 20 empieza. <risa> Agresiva, anda ya. Sí, si sí, alguien vino susceptible ese día, díganos, ¿ok? Díganos, no le pregunten a Yancy. Sí, no le pregunten a Yancy, por favor. Yes, Yancy, thank you. Contable nouns, we can count them. Yes. Los podemos contar. For example, uh -huh, we can count what? Pen. Pencil. Pen, pencils. Uh -huh. What else? Persons. Telephones. Persons. Telephones. Restaurants. Restaurants. Uh -huh. Apple. Things. Apple. Yes. What else? Years. Years. Yes. Books. Books, uh -huh. cars, objects. What? Cars. Cars, uh -huh. house, houses. Yes, right. We can count those those nouns. Okay. For example, tell me an example, Janet. Using countable nouns. Contable. Yes, with countable. Um, there, there is, uh, there are, mm -hmm. there are many potatoes. There are many potatoes. Okay. Thank you. Let's see another example. Stephanie. Um, uh, three apples, um, many apples. Yeah. I have many apples. I have many apples. Where? Where do you have the apples? In the refri refrigerator. 
Yes, excellent. Tell me the complete sentence. I have many apples in the refrigerator. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Carlita Albergue. There are two windows in my house. There are two windows in my house. Jansi Mayen. I have two pairs of sport shoes. I have two pairs of uh -huh, sport, sport shoes. shoes. Excellent, okay. What about uncountable nouns, guys? Ya yeah, se tela, yo sé que quiere. Many, um, money, money, uh, uh -huh. cent, cent. In my purse, Ours. there are yes. many, uh, many, many pe penny, I don't know, centavos. Yes, yes, pennies. Pennies, mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Sugar. Con tu poles money, es, o sea, yes. no sé, es incontable cuando nos referimos a tener una cierta cantidad, pero no decimos cuánto, sino eh, en, en mm -hmm. números, sino en decir tengo mucho, tengo poco dinero. Yes, we cannot count money, but we can count bills and coins. Yes. Mm -hmm. No puedo contar el dinero, pero sí puedo contar billetes y monedas. Yes. I can count dollars. Yes, I can say ten dollars, twenty dollars, one hundred dollars. Yes, but I can count money. Okay, I can say as Danny said, much money. Okay, I have much money. No, I have a little money, right? It's a lie. I don't have too much. Hmm. What do you say, Miss? Um. Quarter, quarter or quarter? quarter yes, quarter yes. is 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 no correct. Quarter. No quarter, quarter. quarter. Viene de, de, de ahí viene la palabra quarter. Okay. Eso se llama borrowing. No, ah. eso se llama borrowing eh, language. ¿Qué significa eso? Cuando uh -huh. nosotros adquirimos de un idioma una palabra pero la decimos distorsionada. For example, quarter, ¿qué más decimos? Hay otras palabras. Catch, cachar. ¿Verdad que nosotros decimos cachar la pelota? ¿Yes? O si no lo dicen, ¿lo han escuchado? ¿Chance? Yes? ¿Chance? No, chance. Dame chance, dame chance. It's chance, right? Sí. That's borrowing language. A eso se le llama borrowing language. Que nosotros tomamos de otro idioma una palabra, pero la hacemos a nuestro lenguaje. Catch, cachar, eh, quarter, cora. What else? Hay otras que ahorita no me acuerdo, pero sí. Las que ustedes digan. En ¿Mm? nuestro, en guachar, en nuestra jerga. Guachar, eh, hey, guachá, ¿qué yo va? Guachá vos, ajá, es watch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y así hay palabras, o sea, a eso se refiere, borrowing language, ¿sí? Así se llama. Ok, so, uncountable nouns. For example, we cannot count what. Sugar, yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we cannot count time. We cannot say two times, right? Yes. Eh, cuando hablamos de veces, oh. sí. Pero cuando hablamos de tiempo, no. We can count seconds, hours. Yes? And minutes. Yes? Por decir así, nosotros podemos contar las categorías de una palabra. Yes, for example, sugar. We cannot count sugar. We can count the, the spoons. Yes, spoon. Spoon of sugar. Okay. What else? We cannot count coffee, but we can say two cups of coffee. Uh -huh. Son medidas de cantidad. Yes. Uh -huh. What else? We cannot say two salts, no? A little salt, 
much salt. See? Yes. What about rice? We cannot count rice. What else? Milk. Soup. Milk. Yes. Water. Soup. Soup. I drink uh -huh. a little coffee. I drink a little coffee in the morning. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Cheese. Cheese. We cannot count cheese, right? Tea. We can say. The tea, we can count the tea. Juice. So, Sobra. Beans. Beans. Aunque stars. los frijoles son catalogados como contables. Las estrellas, stars. Yes, stars. We cannot count stars, right? But we can say two stars. The problem is that there are many. A lot, a lot, and a lot start, right? Traffic. Traffic. We can say what? A little traffic. How much traffic? Too much traffic. Uh -huh. Hard traffic, yes. Tráfico pesado, yes. What else? Mm -hmm. Car. Car. Elote. O maíz. Uh, maíz, maíz. Yes, corn. We can call it corn. Okay. Veo que tienen bien claro ¿verdad? el tema. Contable and uncountable nouns. So cute. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. What about there is and there are? When do we use there is? When, singular. when we talk about singular, a singular, singular. noun. Uh -huh. Tell me an example. There is there a shape. There is a shape. Mama. There is a shape. There is too much traffic. There is too much traffic. There is too much traffic. Yes. Let's see. Che, entiendo yo que there is equipa con con los contable y los y el there are con los contable. Ahorita, mamá. No, eso ya no sirve. Ahorita lo vamos a ver. Laurita, la felicito. La felicito lo siento, por estar aquí. Lo siento. No, no. Solo quiero decirle que la felicito. O sea, Gracias. porque yo sé lo que cuesta. Yo tengo una niña de dos años y créanme que a veces llora antes de cada clase. Y gracias, oh. o sea, por, por dedicar esa hora para nosotros. ¿Ok? Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Ok, there is, there are some in any. Ok. Veronica, welcome to class. Read. <laughs> yes, thank you. Bienvenida. Ya, Ay, le vamos, ya, le vamos hacer, ya le vamos a hacer la pregunta, no crea. Es que salí bien tarde de trabajo. Me imagino, no, tranquila, yo los entiendo, créame que los entiendo. Ya cuando uno, a partir de que uno empieza a trabajar por primera vez, ya uno deja de vivir para uno, yo entiendo, cuesta. Okay, read the two first lines, please. Esta dos. Me? Yes, okay. Veronica. Mm -hmm. Okay, we use there is or there are to talk about things we can see and things that exist. Mm -hmm. We use there is for singular and uncountable nouns. And we use there are for plural countable nouns. Ah, uh, Daniel. Aquí contesta, mire, lo que usted decía, ¿ok? We use there is for singular and uncountable nouns. And we use there are for plural countable nouns. Yes. Ok. Ana Yancy, read, read this example. There are five. Uh, there are people in office. 
There are five people. There are five people in the office. Yes. Uh, plural control. No, new. Excellent. Okay. There are five people in the office. Okay. We are talking about plural countable nouns. Okay. People. We can count people. Two people. Recuérdese que people es de dos a más. A más, ¿ok? The other example, Carla Albergue. There's a television in the living room. Singular countable noun. But you see, we can use there is four countable nouns too. But when we refer to one. a one thing, yes. Cuando nos referimos a una cosa, okay? O no cosa, también persona, okay? There is a television in the living room. Singular countable noun. Read the other example, please, eh, Florcita. Or... Me perdí, ¿dónde vamos? <laughs> Aquí, ¿dónde tengo el cursor? Ah, or, or there's some milk in the fridge. Mm -hmm. um, Contable now. Using? Using some. Some. When do we use some, guys? We use some when mm. we don't know the quantity. No. The quantity or the, yes, the quantity of, for example, in these cases, of milk. We don't know how much milk I have, yes? I just know that I have some milk, yes. But when I know the quantity, I use the number, but in the case of Countable, yes? With, Ana, este, Jansi Mayen, with yes. plural, uh -huh, read. With plural countable nouns, we can either give the quantity by people or use some if we don't know that exact quantity. Okay, thank you. With plural countable nouns, we can either give the quantity five people or use some if we don't know the exact quantity. As I told you, okay, we use some when we don't know the exact quantity. Okay, estamos hasta ahí? Yes, some. Yes. Okay, continue. Let's see, Katie. Uh, wait, uh, there are five people in the office. We can see five people exactly. Yes, thank you. There are five people in the office. Okay, if I say they, there are, there are 15 five. people in the class. Okay, ahorita somos 15, okay? There are 15 people in the class, okay? I know the exact quantity because I can see the number of participants, yes? Okay, let's see, Mateo, read the other lines, please. There are some people in the class, the office. <laughs> <laughs> no importa, sí se está we bien. don't know exactly how many people with uncountable nouns we also use nouns yes thank you there are some people in the office we don't know exactly how many people but if I know I see that there are a lot of people I can say what there are a lot of people in the office or there are many people. ¿Qué tal si no son solo algunos, sino que yo veo muchos? Ahorita estamos viendo solo son, pero podemos utilizar lo contrario que sería many. Yes. 
many or a lot of people. Yes. Esos son los, esos, esos son algunos. Many or a lot of son muchos. Pero eso se usa en contable. Ok. Ok. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Andy, continue reading. Mm -hmm. Angie? There's some meal in the fry. I don't know the exact quantity. Okay, thank you. There is, there's some milk in the fridge. I don't know the exact quantity, okay? Lo mismo, okay? What about this? There's some money in my wallet. I don't know exactly how much money. Okay, for example, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Stephanie, an example, right? Tell us how much money do you have in your wallet? Um, there's, I have a little money. I have a little money in my wallet. wallet. Yes. No sabe cuánto tiene específicamente, pero sabe que es poco. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Flor. Tell us, how much money do you have in your wallet? ¿Dónde? In your wallet. Yo sé que no usan, ¿verdad? Pero es la, la billetera. Uh -huh. Or in your pocket, let's say, en el bolsillo. Vamos a imaginar. <laughs> A ver, repítame la pregunta. No, 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 no Ajá, comprendí. Okay. How much money do you have in your pocket or in your wallet? En su cartera, donde usted guarda el dinero. En, ¿Cómo digo? Poco dinero. A little money. But let's say you have a lot money. <laughs> a little money. <laughs> okay, for example, it's just an example. I have $10 in my pocket. Uh -huh. Solo son ejemplos. Yo sé. A ver, I have a... Uh, uh -huh. A $5. Dollar. I have $5 in my wallet. Excellent. In my wallet. Uh -huh. I don't have any money in my wallet. Oh, rayos. Si les pagan la quince, cada quincena, cinco días, cinco días. Si les pagan al mes... Bueno, esperando cinco días ansiosamente. I know, I know. Después de este, de este triste momento, ok, remember, remember, we think you learn control nouns, we use a, and, the, or another determiner, or pronoun, not some, ok, cuando tenemos singular, ok, yes. cuando hablamos solo de uno. Utilizamos los articles a, an, de, en ese caso, ¿verdad? Or another, because aquí estamos utilizando my. For example, so there is a woman in the shop. How many, one, how many women? A one. One. One, one woman, ¿ok? You see, cuando nos referimos a uno... Des, ¿Usamos el determinante? A. Ah. A. Ah. When do we use a and when do we use an? Ajá. Uh -huh. Someone? A, uh, when you, the words is start with the, no vocal. <laughs> the consonant. Yes, I got it. Okay. We use the determiner a uh, when the word begins with a consonant. consonant. Excellent, thank you. And don't, and when do we use an? 
When the world start with vowel. When the word starts or begins with a vowel. vowel. Excellent. Vowel. 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 There is the woman who works in the hospital. We are talking about the woman. Who? ¿Cuál mujer? Eh. Who works in the hospital, okay? We are talking about the woman that works in, in, the, in the hospital. hospital. Yes, a specific person. No tan específico, ¿verdad? Un montón de mujeres trabajan en hospitales. Okay, there's my sister in the phone. Okay. Negative form in using any, okay? Let's see. There are two ways to form the negative. Al, not, or an apostrophe T to the end of the verb C. Let's see. There isn't a freezer in the kitchen, okay? The negative form, remember, is there plus verb to be. Verb to be plus not or n apostrophe t, que sería la the contracted form, la forma contractada o la forma completa. Yes? For example, the complete form is. There is not. not. There is not a freezer in the kitchen. A freezer in the kitchen, yes. You see? Or I can say there, there isn't a freezer in the kitchen, okay? It's the same. Let's see. There isn't any money in my wallet. Esa la dijimos, ¿verdad? Es oración, ¿ok? There isn't any money in my wallet. ¿Ok? No money, no money. Just, just so bad of life, right? Solo una mariposa. There isn't any money in my wallet. ¿Ok? Remember, money is a countable noun. ¿Ok? There aren't any students in the classroom. Remember, we use any for negatives. Yes? Plural noun. For uncountable nouns, use any after. You see? Negative. Any after negative isn't and for plural countable nouns, Use any after aren't. O sea, lo que quiere decir que any lo va a utilizar después del verbo. Yes. Y después de el not. O si es contratado, contractado, sorry, después del isn't o el aren't. Yes. You see? It says, don't use any with singular countable nouns, just with plural. Esas son reglas que hay que aprenderse, okay? There isn't a single bis biscuit, que son galletas, left in the packet, okay? There isn't any single biscuit left in the Packet, okay. Use no after there is or there are. Okay. We can say there is no, okay. There is no freezer in the kitchen. Tell me another example using no. There is no. Teacher. Mm -hmm. And we can say there aren't any biscuits. There aren't 
Any biscuit ¿Qué, ¿Qué decía acá? Vamos a ver acá qué dice. Ok. For uncountable nouns use any after the negative. Ok. And for the plural countable nouns use any. Ok. Si, si, si podemos o no podemos según lo que leímos. Yes. Yes, right. It's possible, you. okay? You're welcome. Uh -huh. Tell me an example of you saying there is no? There is no money. No, there is no money in my wallet. There is no money in my wallet, okay? Excellent. What about there are no students in the classroom? There are no? Another example, there are no? There are no raining. <laughs> or is... There are no? Uh -huh. There are no raining right now. Okay. Raining? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Remember that raining, it's uncountable. Uh, yes, and in this case, raining is a uh, is a verb. There are no desks in the classroom. There are no desks in the classroom. Excellent. There is no coffee left. Okay. However, it's more common to use isn't plus a for singular countable noun. Isn't any for uncountable nouns and aren't any for plural nouns, okay? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about for questions? We just move the verb at the beginning and then we say there. Are there. there. There to be plus there plus Complement plus question. question mark. Yes, excellent. Is there a toilet on the train? Is there, is there a toilet on the train? ¿Cómo yeah. podemos contestar? Yes, there are. Yes, there is. Yes, there, there, is. Yes, there is. There is. Uh -huh. yes, there Remember, is. cuando hacemos una pregunta, siempre vamos a contestar. Sí. Según el verbo. Y en este caso está utilizando is, quiere decir que yo voy a contestar con is. is. Yes, there is. Solo hay uno, solo hay uno que cambia. ¿Cuál es? Cuando yo pregunto, are you? Uh, uh, yes. ¿Verdad? Yes, Cuando, yes. Y después yo hablo acerca de mí y utilizo. I am, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent, okay. Is there any time to go shopping? Is there are any time to go shopping? No, there yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is, yes, right? There is. Uh -huh. What about this? Are there any train to London this morning? <laughs> we don't know, right? There are maybe. I think so. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. Yes. But you see, ¿qué tal si solo hay uno? Yes, there is. O sea, quiere decir que solo hay uno. Hay, hay cosas, o sea, hay situaciones en las que sí puede ser que contestemos con yes, there is, aunque sea are. Yes? Yes. Que no sabemos cuánto, ¿verdad? Ok. Let's see. Tell me three sentences. Ok, write, write, five. Let's say five. In five minutes, write five sentences. Ok, you can write 
affirmative sentence, negative sentence, yes, no questions, okay? Using there is and there are. Any, some, okay? You have the five minutes to write them. Ahora les mandé las primeras cuatro clases. Yes. Sorry, with there is, there are, and what was the indication of the sentence? We can use, we can write uh, using there is, there are, ejemplos utilizando there is, there are, pueden hacer preguntas, there, there is uh, any, there isn't any, there are some, lo que acabamos de ver. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Y de una vez o, o cuando puedan me las mandan al grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí se las voy a, a revisar como la otra vez.
Ok, me avisan, please. Ya se las envié, teacher. Ok, thank you. Ready, chat. Ya se lo envié en WhatsApp. Thank you. Cinco, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. I will check them tomorrow, ¿ok? Mañana las voy a revisar, mañana se las envío. Okay, guys, finished. Okay, Maya terminó. No? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, guys. Vamos a hacer como lo, los tiempos de, de antes. El que ya terminó puede salir a recreo. <risa> ah, pues yo no voy a salir a recreo, dice. Si terminé, no puedo ir a recreo. Yes. No, yo sé que tienen responsabilidades, ¿verdad? Así que thank you guys. See you tomorrow. Los que ya terminaron, que los demás no se me vayan, que si no, no me entregan las cosas, ¿ok? Si usted se quiere bye, desconectar, bye. puede hacerlo. Bye, take care. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Thank you. <risa> Se lo voy a mandar al WhatsApp. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye. If you have any question, you can ask me, okay? Okay, teacher.
Okay, guys, finished. Stephanie, have you finished? Uh, only one. Okay, thank you, Carlitos. Yes, teacher. Ya solo me falta escribirlas porque <laughs> no estaba en la casa. Okay, thank you. Don't worry. You can send them tomorrow. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mateo, finished? Yes, I'm I'm completing the the last one. Okay, thank you. Ana Yancy? I finish. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I have you finished? And I am Hello, teacher. Have you finished? Solo eh, ahí les mandé las, pero creo que ahorita estoy revisando y solo me salió de un lado. Yo creo que hasta al revés me salió. Okay, don't worry. Arriba. Ahí me la manda, tranquila. Thank you. I finished. Okay, Excellent. Bye, Matthew. Okay, bye. Bye, Anita. Take care. Tranquila, tómele la foto de nuevo y me las manda. Ok, teacher. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. Eh, la tarea de la, ya de esta semana, de la tercera semana del primer ejercicio, eh, no le, o sea, sí le entiendo, pero no hay cómo contestarlo, no hay, no sé cómo hay que escribir. Mañana yo le ayudo con gusto. Ah, ok, teacher. Ok. Solo bueno. que recuérdeme, por favor, me escribe. Bye, está bien, teacher, gracias. Porfa, sí. bye, take care, see you tomorrow.